How's it going guys? On my way home right now and I just wanted to do a quick little video because I haven't posted in a while and what I want to talk about in this video is all it takes is a little bit of patience. Now we can go with this many different ways but what I really want to talk about when I talk when I in this video as far as patience goes is um, I'm going to use the examples of being a leader and being a father or being a parent, which are uh, very similar if you think about it. On the one hand, I'm kind of a lead at my job. I am a mentor to younger guys who don't have as much experience as me, and it's up to me to make sure things run efficiently. It's up to me to make sure people understand what's going on it's up to me to make sure we have what we need and we're solving problems as they arise and same thing goes with my two-year-old son I have a three-month-old son and a two-year-old son but the more challenging of the two is definitely the two-year-old son because he's at an age where he can get into things he has his own uh, motives if you will he has things he wants to do and they don't always align with what me and his mom want to do so there's uh, sometimes conflict but anyway all it takes is a little bit of patience a lot of times when I'm working and I got the guy next to me I see him sitting there stand, staring at me and sometimes I get irritable because I feel like the other guy should be staying busy the other guys need to be working and the other guys need to be helping out but I try to I have to try to put myself in the other guys shoes this other guy I'm working with is right out of high school and if I think back to when I was that age I remember being just like that I had no idea what to do and I was honestly a little bit intimidated because you know you, you want to look good in front of everyone you don't want to make mistakes and so I gotta step back and have some patience and realize, you know, maybe he doesn't know what's going on. Maybe I need to to take a step back, take, take a deep breath, and maybe pull up some pictures on my phone of, of the finished product and give him an idea of what's going on. And, and maybe his, his uh, maybe things will start clicking in his mind. And that has been a big lesson for me to learn lately is, is it just, in life, it really just takes patience a lot of the time. We want to get there quickly. We want to get things done. We want to keep moving forward. But a lot of times in life, if you're doing something challenging, especially if you're trying to get in shape, if you're trying to run a job site, if you're trying to be a great father, things don't go the way you think they're going to go. In fact, they rarely go the way you think they're going to go. And for me, this is the way I think about it. The answer always exists. You just have to tune into it. You have to tune into the answer to your problem. And the only way to tune into the answer is to relax, let go of what you're doing, and free up your hands, if you will, in order to receive the solution. You can't receive the solution to your problem if you're tightly gripping the problem. You can't teach someone if you're tightly gripping this idea of what they should be doing, how they should be doing it, how productive they need to be. You have to let go of all these ideas because if you have someone like me that's fresh out of high school, they're a blank slate. They might be intimidated. You need to take a step back and let go of all these preconceived notions of what they need to be doing, what they should be doing. Relax and maybe take a minute to explain what's going on. Take a minute or two minutes or ten minutes to give them some pointers. I see a lot of people trash talking others without giving them any pointers. <clears throat> and it's really a shame because... I mean, I see a lot in, in the construction industry, a lot of the older guys, they just get impatient. And that's how people were with me when I was coming up. Everyone was impatient with me, everyone was talking crap. And nobody was, or, or very few, there wasn't a, 
wasn't nobody, but there were a few people that had the patience to sit down and tell me. And so that's the take home message here. I'm kind of painting with broad strokes here. You just, you gotta be more patient. It takes a little bit of patience. And what I mean by patience is not just sitting around being lackadaisical and, and not taking action. What I mean is letting go of all these preconceived notions about how these things are, how things are supposed to go. And instead letting things flow. Because more often than not, things are not going to go according to plan and you got to be prepared for that it's like me right now trying to make more money there's a lot of different ways I could make money but instead of instead of getting all tightwad about it and getting getting um, all these ideas about what I should be doing and what I need to be doing why don't I just relax and let it flow and then the other night all these ideas started flowing into my head about what I could be doing these little woodworking projects I could I could be building and selling on Facebook marketplace and it gave me a lot more confidence about a couple little things I could do to to generate some money on the side but how I got the answer was letting go of the so-called problem and whatever your problem is it's easier said than done but Sometimes you just got to take five and kind of get your mind off it and then allow things to flow. So yeah, this one was kind of common sense, but I hope it helped you guys out because it's kind of been something I've been thinking about lately, especially in regards to being a leader. A lot of us, like I said, have an idea of what others need to be doing. We have an idea of how things are supposed to be going. But when you get a lot of people together, when you get a lot of different ideas together, things don't really go that way. And so as a leader, it's our job to to be able to blend together people's different experiences, people's different ideas, and people's different backgrounds. Because everybody has something to bring to the table. And it's the leader's job to be able to, to extract that out of other people and to be able to put together an A-team. So anyway, guys, hope you have a good night. I will talk to you soon. Bye.